Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Tengoku. I'm your host, Lindsay. I'm David. And on this show, we review figures, trading figures, and all sorts of fun things from Japan. And today, we have something that I really wanted to talk about. We've got Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. This, <gasps> this comes up on my on my like feed every okay. time. Like the fire, like do you have um, a fire stick or something like that? You know the digital stuff. It's plastered on the front page. Netflix and like. Uh, What's it, Amazon? Yeah, I mean, suddenly just blown up. It <laughs> My Hero like Academia has been really popular for a few years, and the new season's coming out this year. So we're both looking forward to that. And this is the first scale figure of Midoriya that's been released,、um, or Deku, whichever you want to call him as.、Um, so, like, Koto, Kotobuki is coming out with one too, but this one beat it to the punch. This is by Kara Annie. Or character in anime dot com as their full name is, <laughs> and they're <laughs> But, licensed under Good Smile, right? Or, right, and they're they're part of the Good Smile team, so you can find it on that page. But like, I really like this one because he's so action packed. Like the pose is a lot big figure actually. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. I mean, like just because he's kind of in this this jumping pose where he's like about to punch something, it's it's got a lot of movement to it. But yeah, let's check it out. I'm really excited. All right, so here he is, Izuku Midoriya or Midoriya Izuku, whichever order you like to say his name in, from My Hero Academia or Boku no Hero Academia, whichever one you prefer.、Um, this again is by Kara Ani、um, or Character and Anime dot com, and I think they did a really nice job with this from the box to the figure itself. Yeah, I like、um, the way that the, the character like goes around the package, so you yeah, can see it every everywhere. It's um so I'm I'm guessing for you guys who who don't know too much about Japanese, this Midori, this kanji is um is green, right? And that means gap. So what's it mean? He's got a lot of gap between his.、Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no he does not have a gap between his teeth. <laughs> But anyways, let's check him out. As usual, I'm opening it from the bottom because there's no tape involved that way, so we can put him back in very easily. Quite easy. All right, so his foot is stuck to this white、uh, pedestal thing, which goes on the base because he is in a leaping pose. So they wanted to make him look like he was actually airborne. So let's get him on the base and see how it looks. And well, we need the base first, and it's here. That's cool. Yeah, very nice. It matches the、Comic、package style, design.、Right? Yep. Or、should I say、uh, manga star? <laughs> Not really sure. It's manga, manga. David. Who came up with it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so、Some、there、focus. he is, right out of the box. Let's get this plastic out of the way. So he is pretty awesome.、Um, as you guys know, Deku has that spiky hair going on, and it can be sometimes really hard to capture that in 3D. But I think they did、They've、an amazing、really、job.、Good. And like, there's a lot of、uh, shading in here, the darker green with the light for the tips, and so it just gives it a really nice depth. So they've done that with a mold, two molds, and sewn it pretty well together, right? Yeah,、you、because of the type of see it, but not well. I, I guess it's here, but you, you know, I yeah, guess like, you guys can't see. <laughs> it's done really well, but it, yeah. Right, because with with normal like、um, long haired characters, you can see the seam. Yeah, usually sure. right there, but this blends together so nicely that it doesn't stick out. I also really like his expression.、Um, it just kind of shows Deku's, you know, determine determination,、um, and kind of the.、Uh, there's almost a bit of of not nervousness to it, but. What, what I, would you call this, it? Is this going to connect his punch? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, he's very unsure of himself, right? Yeah. And so, like, he he's very good at planning, at strategizing, but you know, he's kind of unsure about whether it'll actually, through, yeah, yeah, follow through. And I <laughs> I really feel that in his expression here, like with the line below the eye, as well as the creases in his eyebrows. So,、um, Lindsay, you've got to explain what that、uh, that little guard is below his、uh, below his chin. Is he、uh, so, caffeine short?、Sure? Okay,、Has、so allergies. <laughs> so for those who don't know the show,、um, so Midoriya's like hero, like his favorite hero is All Might, and he originally designed this costume based on All Might's design,、um, and so that this is a mouthpiece that that connects to the the top here,、yeah. so it, it make, gives him a mask that looks kind of like All Might's head,、yeah, okay. um, and. 
it, he never really uses it <laughs> for its original purpose. It always seems to come off, but I like it a lot better that way. So I mean, his face is... I like seeing a face better than a mask, if right. I'm saying, but unless it's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it, it's really nice that they left this here. Um, that ass. <laughs> we'll get to that in a sec. One of my favorite parts of this is the, are the gloves because they kind of have a grimy look to them like they've been used. And they are um, massive. It, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but there there is a lot of painting going on here uh, to show kind of darker. Oh, yeah, like a like, grimy look. Right, a grimy, maybe, well, dirty look. See if we can just like, it's going to get a bit pixelated, but you can type of see that but texture there. The, the light in here is a little too bright, but... But, like, looking at it in person, you can really see that yeah. there's, like, dirt around here or around the knuckles. Like, they did a really nice job with that. The painting in general is really, really nice. Superb. It matches the dynamic uh, pose of the figure itself. Because even his, um, his, like, top half, well, every, everything blue, has also got that type of... The underlying bits of a little bit grimy. It's also to do with the shadowing. Yeah. It's now, pretty good. Uh, you said blue, but it kind of does have a well, a, a, mo a greener <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's again I'm the, the light. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. The light in here is just very bright, but he he does look very true to um, his original design. Like, so don't worry about that being a little bright on camera. Um, but yeah, I just really like all the detail on the pouches around his belt, the zipper on the back, and they've kind of given a shinier paint to to his arm guards yeah. as well and as these. his yeah. Like it's just really game. nice. And look at these shoelaces. Oh, I just love that. So cool. His shoes are a bit chunky. You gonna can you run in them? <laughs> <laughs> of course he can. Sorry, I'm just admiring this figure myself here. Yeah, but it's but yeah. weird though how our, our lighting does change things. Um for instance, this looks like a quite a bright red, but it yeah. it really isn't. It's it's more of a a, Captain a, Scarlet type of red. <laughs> Captain <laughs> Scarlet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it definitely um, has a darker look in person. And oh, again, here's some more like grime around his his shoes. There, love that. I like how it sandwiches in with the the what do you call it? The stand holder. Yeah, it's not just a flat piece. Yeah. It actually follows the grooves of his of his shoes. Boot. Das boot. Das boot. He's a little too young for that. Yeah. Well, how old is he in the uh, in the manga then? Um. Well, Teenager. they're in the. I mean, they start off in the last year of junior high, first year of high school. It's like fourteen ish. Yeah, for Japan, yeah. since it's like three years for high school. I can't name his age off the top of my head, but. <laughs> and uh, just linking on to that, the uh, new term of school in Japan started on Monday. Right. This week. So, so this is very appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> But anyway, he's a pretty cool looking guy. Yep. There Take us away. So that was Deku by Kara Annie, and he is amazing, and I love him, and I wish I could win this myself. But speaking of winners, so as you know, we usually give away the figures that we talk about, and for this episode, we are giving away the Kizuna Eye, the five Kizuna Eye that we uh, showed off two episodes ago, but it for this one... It's too long for me to render each, <laughs> each name on the... Um... Adobe, so we're just putting it in the comments down. Yeah, so <laughs> we are going to message you guys, so check your inbox, and just check your inbox anyways, because it looks like a lot of messages are going to spam that we yeah. send you guys, and so you might not have received David's, you're a winner message. Yeah, you'll, you'll be, it'll be in our YouTube comment, sec the, the um, description section, and also it will be in the uh, post section, the, the five people who were Yeah. Here. You guys might be wondering why I'm holding this mic, and that's because the audio on our recent episodes has not been 
very good because we're there's stuff out. Yeah, so we're just trying a few new things out to see what audio works best for this room because there is a slight echo in here. Yeah. So, so hopefully this comes out I, a little crisp. Hopefully, like if this works, this test works, I'm gonna sound really shit, and Lindsay is gonna sound perfect. Or Even though I'm kind of like leaning over this whole episode. Both sound really. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you want to win this Izuku Midoriya figure by Kara Ani, all you got to do is post your comment on the Hobby Link TV video. Links in the description of the YouTube episode. And be sure to post a comment. You know, tell us if you're excited about the new Hero, uh, Hero Aka season coming up. Yeah. Or who your favorite character is or what you think about this figure. Um, just about anything. Cool. See you guys next time. See ya.